Greetings beautiful ones. This is Diana and I'm here to send out unconditional divine love, divine light to all of you and talk about sacred card reading. And if you're wondering why I call it sacred card reading is because the ancient word tarot okay has a low vibrational frequency energy from ancient times the old energy these cards in long time ago were called sacred which is still easy than now because each pack is a portal into connecting with benevolent ones okay beautiful ones so I am here to pass on sacred knowledge and I also teach and assist in sacred card readings and how to activate this sacred tool because it's another tool gifted by the divine creation. So as an elder medicine woman, healer, gifted seer since a child and this gift and ability is multiple and as a gatekeeper I share sacred knowledge of remembrance. So we're going to start with this peace and blessings to all of you and just to give you a greater understanding into card reading the sacred cards as we call them each card is and contains energy and sacred messages when we are guided by spirit the benevolence we are to place crystals onto the cards or the deck and leave them for maybe 30 minutes or so. So the cards will guide you how to and what color crystals they want to connect on to them. So as I explained, so each, each deck will have its different crystals and you leave them on a nice special place you know you have a special place for the cards uh, if you have an altar or just you know special sections in your home or room or healing centers or healing space and what happens is these sacred cards as I expressed before each card has a sacred being and when we activate these cards the sacred cards when we activate them and chant sacred prayers which I do I've been gifted by the divine benevolence by the archangels the real angels are real um, the divine ones are all real the mystical being everything is real so when we do card reading we always got to clean ourselves first be in alignment with our true self as a healer reader seer we are to be clean in our vibrational frequency be in alignment with our higher self first and clean our space okay so of course smudging making sure that the space around you is all clean so that only the benevolence come forward you only want the benevolent divine we beings to be with you and the ancestors sacred animal totems okay once you do this your space is all uh, clear of low vibrational frequency energies placing golden energies around you all right because it's a portal um, the sacred way of doing this of course is chanting blessing them seeking that only divine benevolent messages come through from the higher self and when I do card readings and when I'm guided, if the soul is guided to me, I don't choose the cards for the, the sacred ones, okay? I've been shown different. And the divine benevolence will show me which deck um, to bring forward for that soul because it matches their vibrational frequency energy. And when the cards are shuffled I am chanting and I'm blessing and I'm basically seeking that only the benevolent and ancestors come forward to give the full messages so I don't 
I've never been guided to do a so-called one one card reading because it's so diverse it's so complex it's so layered okay beautiful ones so the sacred card readings can go from an half an hour to an hour or more because all the messages are to come through for that soul so they don't repeatedly come back to you it is giving them all the beautiful messages empowering that soul leaving that soul confident and loving and stable and um, so grateful that messages that come from the divine ones from the ancestors is pure pure intent and when the card like when i'm being guided i will shuffle the cards and i will be chanting and praying and i'll be saying to this person before me they are to connect with their heart chakra and seek the divine messages they are seeking from the divine benevolence right only pure intent pure thoughts coming from here not the mind here so what we are doing is calling in the manifestation for the pure true alignment of messages to come forward from the benevolence and when I hold the, the cards to that soul I basically ask them to choose to feel what they want is it one card two cards I don't know it must match their vibrational frequency what they seeking so the spirit will guide them the highest self the heart chakra will guide them they will feel connected because I'm symbiotic I'm seeking permission because they give me permission and when I do the card reading I'm basically saying may I have permission to do this reading uh, of pure intent with you so the divine benevolence the ancestors see that the intention from me to them is pure so once I do that they've agreed to do this with me and then I hold the cards before them so they can feel and say well I like this one I feel connected to to that pull it out so when I do the reading it's empowering them the person is empowered I'm not taking away the power I'm not uh, manipulating uh, the messages the messages are coming straight from the creation straight from the source straight from the benevolence and it's so layered so I want you all to understand sacred card reading this is the message to all those that are doing card reading spirit would like you all to return to the sacred ways and be in true alignment with your higher self be true in alignment with the benevolent ones and check your spaces check that what you're receiving is from divine benevolence be practice discernment so this is what i do and the gift of exchange is shown by spirit it can be uh, for example uh, the number would come through from spirit so for example someone says I'd like to have a reading with you Diana so what will happen is spirit would, would, would gift a number to me and it's a gift of exchange so 30 minutes plus is say 44 the number 44 and I would say what I seek is a gift of exchange in the number of 44 for this reading that is 30 minutes to an hour okay and that's what happens that um, in that hour the person's receiving everything and they're being empowered and then the messages are written down for them so they when they leave your space when they leave you they're feeling so connected that they're empowered to understand those questions that they had we don't leave them hanging we don't leave them wondering what else blah blah they have a full understanding to what they came to receive and only if the divine benevolence sends them again for a, a particular reason something that's very profound that's on a different understanding that's when they may be guided to you other than that these beautiful souls are to leave your space feeling empowered loved supported a great connection so that they will feel so much love and great understanding of these messages you bring to them so this is for all of you out there diana golden eagle medicine woman
if you feel connected or resonate with this <laughs> peace and blessings <laughs>